What's up? How are you guys today? We're gonna do a grocery haul, just show you guys everything I've been buying lately for my diet, which has been pretty consistent over the past month or two, like every single meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner has been identical with the similar you know, macronutrient format. We have some lean protein, we have high quality organic starch, carbohydrates with fiber to help detox the liver, small amount of fat, and then usually some type of dessert. So you'll see that theme across all of these meals. And I guess we'll try to go in order of what I'm having for breakfast, lunch, and dinner just to, to not separate things too much. So here in the fridge, my protein for breakfast lately has been the Iberico pork tenderloin. Uh, we ran out of the pork sausage on Frankie's strange meat, so this is what I've been having. You know, I'll just take half of the tenderloin, uh, sauteed in the pan for breakfast. I really, really like pork in the morning because it's nostalgic, and this Iberico is just so delicious. So I've really been enjoying that with some oatmeal as the carbohydrate source. Uh, this is organic. We have the apple and cinnamon, maple and brown sugar from Whole Foods. This is just really quick and convenient because normally making oats takes a while, which I should be doing because there are some downsides to this. You know, there's like natural flavors. The cinnamon's not that great. So ideally, I'd be making my own oatmeal from steel cut oats. Maybe we'll do that, you know, just add a little bit of vanilla and sugar myself. It would be a much higher quality product, but this is what we're doing for now. And then with breakfast, as well as every meal, I have an organic peeled honey crisp apple. So I'm not gonna show you guys the, the apples more than once, but keep in mind, I am having one of these with every meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. A rare occasion, I'll have some like dried pineapple rings uh, but not usually. Then for lunch, I've been having the beef barley stew that I showed you guys how to make last week. Uh, five minute recipe, super quick. Just the tenderloin stew meat from Frankie's Range Meat. Some barley, potatoes, mushrooms, onions, and some of the collagen broth. Really, really delicious, really easy, convenient. Just throw it on the stove top, warm it up, and then I have lunch quick when I get home from work. And uh, with that stew, I'll have some bread to dip in. So this is the bread alone, sourdough bread, which honestly, it's been hit or miss lately. Sometimes it's really stale, sometimes it's okay, uh, but usually I have to throw it in the oven. I even got this like cheap bread maker to see if that would make a higher quality bread, but I just don't have enough space to make sourdough here. That's the real solution. You know, I need to make my own bread to have something actually tasty. But uh, with that stew is when I'll have the water kefir. Sometimes I'll have the water kefir in the morning. I don't usually like to, but with the water key for the probiotic for lunch, I'll also have a tablespoon of the water key for grains that we keep here in the fridge. And I do bring the water key for home on a daily basis from Frankie's Strange Meat, so I don't have to like stock up on it too much. So for dinner, we've been using the roast beef from Frankie's Strange Meat. I used about half of this package last night. We're gonna use the rest tonight. With our collagen broth, I put these in the udon noodles. These are the organic udon. I get these from Whole Foods. They also have them on Amazon. So, you know, just boil these in the pan, put the roast beef and collagen broth in there. Another very quick and easy meal. And to that, I also started adding uh, bean puree that's made with just these white beans as well as some onions. Uh, I got a lot of artichoke I have to use up. Maybe I'll add these to the puree next time actually. And also in this cabinet here, I do have some of the Totomi's vegan cookies. Have been having these as much lately, but I will have them on occasion, maybe once or twice a week uh, for some extra dessert. I guess a lot of you guys ask me about what type of oil I cook with. It's just uh, organic refined liquid coconut oil. It's least inflammatory, saturated fat. The MCTs have antifungal properties, which is good against candida, but uh, that's really it. Maybe we'll have that on Frankie's Range Foods soon. And outside of the meals, I do go through a lot of water, so maybe two or three cases per week of the Mountain Valley and Fuji each. So since I have these at the warehouse down in Frankie's Range Meat because we use it to make the water kefir, I don't usually stockpile too much. I just bring it home when I need it. And guys, I do take some variation of supplements with every meal, and we did the routine last week, so definitely check that out. I kind of have to mention that because, you know, with the modern environment, stressors, radiation, all that stuff, all these foods in this diet, there's still some issues where you might need vitamin C, magnesium, certain B vitamins, so just keep that in mind. You know, even things like the alcohol and the water kefir can stress the body a little bit, and you might need to supplement a few things here and there. But I, I think that's really it. I don't have a lot of stuff in my fridge or cabinets because I do go to the grocery store like almost every day and I bring stuff home from Frankie's Free Range Meat every single day. So um, no need to really have so much stuff and I really don't have space for it anyway. Yeah, I mean, I've been feeling better and better eating these foods and again, there are a few things I like to critique and improve and change, but 
haven't been able to, whether it's a time or access or just a matter of not having enough kitchen space and cooking equipment. So hopefully things get a little bit better over the next few months. But that's really it. You know, most of the stuff, guys, I got at Whole Foods or Frankie's Street Range Meat or online on Amazon. Uh, you know, hopefully we can get some of the pork share back and maybe we'll just do some breakfast sausage because I do like that a lot more than the tenderloin. You know, again, more nostalgic. And maybe we can get someone to make the potato chips so I can start having easier, more convenient lunches. Uh, you know, for me, when you're cooking every meal yourself in your house because and you have digestive issues or can't just eat normal food, you know, it, it's a lot more time in the cooking, in the cleaning, and all that stuff every day. You know, it really does take up a lot of my time. So I try to do things that are easy, convenient, healthy, and taste good. You guys can go to frank if you'd like to check out all of my businesses and support me further. But as always, guys, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Maybe next week we'll do like a, a supplement comparison of the old supplements. I don't know. Just... Let me know what you guys would like me to talk about because at, th at this point with the diet, I feel like I'm kind of beating a dead horse, you know, like a lot of this stuff is repetitive. The day of eatings are looking really similar. I'm showing you guys the same food, you know, but we'll see. I got a few ideas here and there. Maybe we'll do some like vlogs of me going out or something to pick some acceptable food.